It's time for the Diddy update. Yes, so much drama is in Sean Puff Daddy slash Diddy Combs' life that we literally can do a Diddy update every day, and there's always something new to talk about. Well, today, the information is hot off the presses. As I reported yesterday, Sean Diddy Combs' former uh, bodyguard, Gene Deal, said that he would testify against Puffy uh, and that he also believed that Cassie, Diddy's ex-girlfriend, would also testify against him if given the opportunity. Well, I guess the opportunity was given because it has been reported now. It is currently being reported even by, uh, by TMZ that that is exactly what has happened, that Cassie has, a, has, has uh, agreed to cooperate with federal authorities. Cassie has said that she is willing to step up and work with the feds to testify against Diddy. Now, the accusations that he's facing include sex trafficking, uh, allegations of, of, uh, uh, of, of sexual relations of some sort uh, with underage girls. There's allegations of drugs, allegations of guns, all kinds of stuff. And Cassie has officially come forward now and said, allegedly, that she is going to cooperate with the feds. Now, Cassie had a lawsuit back in November that got the whole ball rolling. It was the first of many that we would see against Diddy in the next uh in, in, the, in the subsequent months uh, her lawsuit accused Diddy of raping her uh, of abusing her uh, of, uh, of of forcing her to take drugs uh, of forcing her to have sex with male prostitutes uh and in the lawsuit she alleged that he engaged in sex trafficking it started with a negotiation Diddy didn't want to settle within 24 to 48 hours after she issued that big 35 page report he settled but the horse was out of the barn at that point. The horse was out of the barn. And now everybody's suing Diddy. Everybody's talking about Diddy's sexual activities. Everybody's talking about Diddy's personal life. But we were only talking about civil suits. We were only in the realm of civil suits. But now we've moved from civil suits to a potential criminal suit. Now, Diddy has not been arrested. He has not been charged. The feds have not even said that he is a target. But the feds never say you're a target until they've got you in the bracelets. The feds never say we're looking at Jim, Joe, Bob, Mary, Janet, whatever, until it's too late and the walls have closed in. Well, Cassie coming forward is another sign that the walls are closing in on Diddy. Now, the question, though, is if Cassie signed an NDA, how is she able to talk? And if she didn't sign an NDA, why did Diddy settle? Typically, you settle so that the person will stop talking. Now, saying you're not going to talk to media, saying you're not going, you're going to do a non-disclosure to the public, saying you're not going to write a tell-all book as she had thought about, that, of course, doesn't mean that if you saw human trafficking that they can't subpoena you and make you talk. So I'm not suggesting that the NDA gets her off the hook with the feds, but it does seem a little interesting that despite settling for what I heard was a very large amount, despite receiving satisfaction uh, and through the courts that she wanted, Cassie is still talking to the police. Cassie's still talking to the feds. Now, is it under duress? Is it under pressure? Are they saying, look, if you don't talk, we send you to prison? Maybe. But by the reports I'm hearing, whether it's Gene Deal, whether it's the reports through TMZ, it seems as if Cassie didn't really have to get coached too hard. She didn't have to have her arm twisted to tell against Diddy or to tell on Diddy. So, again, the question for me is just, what does it all mean? Now, some of y'all in the gossip columns and in the rags, y'all saying Cassie is snitching. Let's be very clear. Snitching is a very particular thing. Snitching is when we do crimes together. You in the game, I'm in the game. We do crimes together, and then you tell to get yourself out of trouble. There's no reason to believe that Cassie is in trouble. Now, is it possible the feds have something on her? And now because they have something on her, they're forcing her to tell, maybe that would be snitching. Because when they talk about these freak-offs, when they talk about these sex sessions and prostitutes and this and that and that, maybe Cassie's complicit legally. I don't know. I don't know who's innocent. I don't know who's guilty. 
What I know, though, is that if they got Cassie telling, if they got Cassie talking, that's going to be a tough one for Diddy to beat. Because Cassie knows where the bodies are buried. Cassie was there. If Cassie was in the freak-off session and she says X, Y, and Z happened, that was not only weird or, or freaky, but actually illegal. If that is the case, that she knows, now we're on to something else. But there's also a bigger question that we have to ask here, which is why are the feds so interested in Diddy right now? Now, of course, if he has a human sex trafficking ring, they should be interested in what's going on. We should be trying to stop a human sex trafficking ring. But typically, when people got a bunch of civil lawsuits against them, the feds don't read the civil lawsuits and say, hey, let's launch a criminal investigation, see if we can also lock this Negro up, too. So why is this? Why is Diddy facing military level armored trucks and, 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 and barricades and semi assault rifles at his house? Why are they busting in his house like they're about to take down the Sandinistas? These are legitimate questions that we have to ask of the government. That doesn't mean we let Diddy off the hook. No, we need to hold him accountable for anything that he's done that is illegal or harmful to our community. We have to ask that question and find the answer. Did he do something wrong? And what do we do about it? Absolutely. And we should do that in an in a, in a abolitionist context, as far as I'm concerned. But we also cannot afford to take our eyes off the government because the government's moving in a very strange way. Who they're talking to, why they're talking to them, how they're talking to them. I would be very surprised if Diddy doesn't see a criminal charge just because of how the government is moving. I, I don't see them having Homeland Security all up in the crib. I don't see them pr adding pressure. I don't see your ex who brought all this stuff to the forefront co cooperating as anything other than the sign that you're probably going to face some charges. And when the feds charge you, they usually win. But Diddy is the exception, just like Don King was the exception. You can beat the feds if you have a good lawyer, good resources. And of course, if you have the truth on your side, you Gucci, right? That's how it should be. We'll find out what it is.